What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Quarantine Cuisine with Guapo Grande. Today, we are going to make some homemade mashed potatoes. All right, so we're going to be using what we got. So we got some Idaho potatoes we're going to be using. We're also going to be using some Yukon gold potatoes uh, because, well, or Klondike gold dust potatoes, excuse me, because we're, we're working on reserves. So we're going to dice and cut these bad boys. Along with that, we're going to add nine crushed garlic cloves, just to kind of give it a nice little aromatic flavor and taste and smell. And we're going to start just seasoning these. So we're going to hit it with about a little bit of a half a tablespoon of salt, kosher salt, of course, because you've got the nice coarseness to it. Then we're going to hit it with some ground pepper. Ground pepper, wow. Ground garlic, sorry. Uh, then we're going to hit it with some chili powder for some kick. Um, also, if you have it, Old Bay seasoning is good with it, but we don't have that here. Uh, we're going to do a quarter teaspoon of paprika. And then we're just going to stir it, and then we're going to get this to a boil. And then once it's boiling, we're going to let it cook for 15 minutes. So we're going to see you when this is all nice and cooked and ready to go. All right, so after the bad boys are cooked and they're fork tender, we're going to go ahead and, and drain them. Make sure you get everything in there. It's going to smell great because the, the seasoning is really going to give flavor to the potatoes. And then once you get them all shaken off, make sure to add a little moisture to these potatoes as possible. So we're going to dump these back into the pan, and then we're going to add some of our ingredients before we mash them to make mashed potatoes, hence the name mashed potatoes so we're gonna use a whole fucking stick of butter because fuck it right we're in quarantine we want these taters to be delicious and butter makes everything delicious spoken like a true fucking fat guy but that's not all i was doing some research people add milk uh but i also saw a fun little 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 trick a little hack to, so these aren't as loose uh is instead of milk we're gonna be using four ounces of cream cheese uh, I had whipped cream cheese. I think that might be better. Uh, I did see people use regular like blocks of cream cheese. I'm sure you could do that, but I feel like just for the mashing purposes, whipped cream, I'm sorry, whipped cream, whipped cream cheese would probably be better. And then we're going to add some chives to these bad boys. Just, uh, I used about an eighth of a cup of chives just to kind of get in there. And then uh, we're going to, of course, what would mashed potatoes be without some fucking cheese? So we're going to add some cheddar cheese to this bad boy. Also, I fucked up earlier, but I want you guys to know, you might want to use room temperature butter because I tried mashing this up and the butter was a little bit too hard. So I went, I put, you can put this over a flame and it, it'll help, but it definitely helps to just get your butter room temperature, or at least kind of soft because for the mashing purposes. So I put this over a flame, as you can see, I'm having a little bit of an issue. So we're going to, we're going to fast forward to when I had this a little bit more under control all right so after about four minutes on a on a medium low heat the butter finally started to melt and like i was able to get this bad boy and mashed potato looking like fixture uh, i don't know what that meant uh and so a mashed potato looking like such structure uh i guess that would be the right word but man if i do say so myself this is my first time making homemade mashed potatoes and that shit looks pretty goddamn good if i say so myself like not too clumpy it's i mean it's not too milky Nice and thick. You know, let's let's give it a shot. We'll go plate this bad boy up, you know? Alright, so these came out pretty damn good for my first time ever making mashed potatoes. I gotta give myself a pat on the back, because I did a pretty goddamn good job. You know, I the one thing I would say is I would add more salt to it. It just seemed a little bit bland. Maybe more chives. But I think that's pretty, it's a pretty good job for the first time. And I, I like it with the skin on, you know, it just kind of gives it a rough, rough feel to it. But it's definitely great. It adds sour cream to it, a little bit more texture. But all right, guys, that's all for Quarantine Cuisine with Guapo Grande. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember to live grande and be guapo.